Embedding. A very weird word for a very cool thing. It means we can let others view, comment, and even edit our boards right inside other tools. We can use Miro wherever we already are. Here's Miro inside Jira. Here's Miro inside Zoom. Here's Miro inside Notion. Here's Miro inside... Okay, Matt, we get it. It means no more switching between tools. Exactly. There are two ways to embed Miro, and we'll cover them both. The first is to use an integration. The second is to generate and use an iframe code. Let's find the current list of available integrations. We'll click the three dots, add more apps, and then embed Miro. We can see there's quite a few, and more are being added all the time. Here we are in Confluence as an example. With Confluence, we'll just type forward slash Miro and press Enter. We can then select a board. Now we'll choose which level of access others should have to the embedded board. These two options will allow viewing and commenting on the embed. They won't even need a Miro account. It's really useful for boards with diagrams or presentations. Making a board private works a little differently. If we pretend we're someone else viewing this page, we'll see the sign in button before we can access the embed. So what level of access will we have after signing in? It's determined on the Miro side. If someone can view the board in Miro itself, they'll be able to view the embed. If someone can edit the board in Miro itself, they'll be able to edit the embed, and so on. That's embedding with integrations. Now let's talk about iframes. To get an iframe code for our board, click the export icon and then embed. We can copy the iframe code to our clipboard by clicking this box. Here's a board embedded into Miro's blog, for example. We can really put a Miro board anywhere.